Hey everybody, and welcome to another Interstellar Modeler. For my next project, I'm going to be returning to the Space 1999 universe by building this replica of the Mark IX Warhawk. So before I start my build here, I thought I would provide you a brief preview of the kit I'll be using. Now if you're not familiar with the ship, the Mark IX Warhawk appeared in an episode called War Games. Now the ship we frequently see on the show is the Eagle, which of course serves as the workhorse for Moonbase Alpha. Seeing the ship side by side here, you can see similarities, but it's also easy to note that the Warhawk is designed for combat. Its sleeker look implies faster speed and maneuverability versus the Eagle. So no doubt, it's designed to fight. Okay guys, so what you see here now is a resin kit. It's produced by a friend of mine named Mitch, and I will provide you his contact information at the end of this video. When completed, this kit is going to measure about 22 to 23 inches in length, so it should be pretty close in scale to the Round 2 uh, model kit that's going to be coming out soon here of the Eagle by Round 2. So as you know, most resin kits are custom made, and they are produced by pouring resin into a mold. And uh, one of the things that you get when you um, do this type of uh, production anyway, is you tend to get a kit that has some minor surface imperfections and things you're going to have to be dealing with that aren't typically seen on styrene plastic models. So in my opinion what makes a good resin kit is a kit that has pretty good crisp detailing on the surface and even though some surface imperfections are expected, uh, they're not excessive. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this kit and see how it measures up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the command module. And you can see that the similarities to the Eagle are pretty obvious. Uh, the detailing here on this kit, however, looks pretty crisp. You can see the panel lines are um, pretty prominent here. This is the underside of the same section. And overall, it's looking pretty clean as well. And moving on to a few other parts here. First of all, we can see these uh, two um, pieces here. Uh, the uh, Warhawk, when you see it on the TV show, um, doesn't use any missiles, um, but um, these two attachments go on each side of the uh, of the ship, and they look like missile launchers to me, so that's what I think they are. And uh, you can see that these are the uh, pieces that go to the engine assembly. Um, this is the tank that sits on the back side of the ship. And uh, this is the main engine exhaust bell here. And you can see the detailing here on the back side, so it's looking pretty good. And uh, there are two smaller bells that go on each side here, adjacent to the uh, main engine. And uh, these are more uh, parts that detail the hull. Uh, this is another piece that uh, displays some paneling. Panel lines are pretty crisp there as well. And uh, then we move on to uh, uh, these pieces here, which are uh, just exhaust ports that uh, go along the underside of the ship. And there's different uh, what appear to be tanks and other attachments here. And you can see here, uh, as we take a closer look, there of course is going to be some cleanup that's necessary there, but all looks pretty manageable. And then a few other pieces here, some other odds and ends there. And this is the main fuselage. And so far the surface detailing is looking pretty good here as well. I turn it over, you can see some of these surface imperfections that we're talking about, but uh, they all look pretty manageable. And then these two things here are some side attachments that go one on each side here towards the rear of the ship. Again, just give you uh, an idea of what the paneling looks like here. Alright, and then we've got some uh, of these pieces here. This is the these uh, lattice type sections that will go on each side. I believe they, I believe they go next to uh, these two um, pieces here. And uh, then we have the main spine that will stretch from the uh, front to the back of the ship. Now overall I count about 60 something pieces here. I'm not sure if I'm counting all these uh, correctly here, but uh, it's about 60 odd pieces or so. And instructions are provided uh, by the maker of the kit. Um, he sends that to you as a PDF uh, via email. So if you're interested in the kit, here is Mitch's contact information. The kit will retail about $200, which is about right for a kit this size uh, made of resin. So even though you may not know much about the show um, or about this ship, this will at least serve as a good example of a resin kit. And I very much look forward to getting started.
Okay, so that pretty much does it for now. Uh, so far, I'm very encouraged by what I see here. It looks like it's going to be a pretty cool kit to put together. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me here at my YouTube channel or at InnerStellarModeler at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will see you in part one of this Mark IX Warhawk build. Take care.